हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो एज आई टोल्ड यू इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो दैट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू बी डिस्कसिंग विद द प्रोबेबिलिटी एरर ऑफ क्यूपीएस के ओके दैट इज द क्वाड्रेचर फेस शिफ्ट की टेक्निक सो द ब्रीफ डिस्कशन ऑफ दिस क्यूपीएस के टेक्निक इज ऑलरेडी डन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो सो दो नॉट वॉच इट प्लीज गो एंड वॉच इट इट इज जस्ट अवेलेबल बिफोर दिस वीडियो ओके इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू बी डिस्कसिंग विद द एरर प्रोबेबिलिटी फॉर्म विद रेस्पेक्ट टू द क्यूपीएस के सिग्नल ओके सो या बिफोर स्टार्टिंग यू नीड टू बी नोइंग द प्रोबेबिलिटी एरर इन जनरल फॉर द क्यूपीएस के सिग्नल इज गिवन बाय दिस फंक्शन इज पी सी इज इक्वल टू वन माइनस पीई दैट इंडिकेट दैट द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ करेक्ट डिसीजन इज इक्वल टू वन माइनस एरर प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑप्टेट ओके सो वॉट एवर द final probability that is the error probability what we get that is correct if and only if the correct decision is taken after the grouping of the quadrature signals okay as i have told you in my previous video quadrature phase shifting shift phase shift keying makes the decision in the combination of two bits that is 0 and 1 okay for that the correct decision has to be taken because we are having two bits which are uh, going to the re receiver at the same point so that's why the correct decision matters a lot for the error getting which is getting obtained okay so that's why the probability of correct decision would be equal to 1 minus error probability obtained okay now the mean of the observation vector x1 is given by x1 is equal to root e by 2 plus w okay why because in the previous case for error probability of bpsk we are have we were having only root e right but here in this case we should be considering root e by 2 because we are having four different combinations so that's why we are using root e by 2 plus w for x1 and for x2 it is root e by 2 plus w okay so this is when x1 is greater than 0 and for x2 greater than 0 okay so now the mean of the observation vector x1 is given by expectation of x1 that is expectation of root e by 2 plus w that is equal to root e by 2 itself because the expectation of white noise is uh, Uh, its mean is uh, nearly equal to zero, so that's why it won't be having any expectation. So that's why it would be uh, zero itself. It would be nullified. We would be left with this itself. That is the expectation of energy is the energy itself which is getting generated. So that's why mean of observation vector x one is root e by two. Similarly, mean of observation vector x two is given by expectation of x two. That is uh, again the same thing. Uh, root e by two plus w. Again, we are getting the same value as the mean of observation vector x2 now the probability of correct decision pc is given by probability when x1 greater than 0 into probability when x2 greater than 0 okay for this the conditional pdf is given by f of f uh, f x1 of the variable x1 that is an observation vector x1 is given by 1 divided by root 2 pi sigma square into e to the power minus of x1 minus mu the whole square divided by 2 into sigma square the, where the sigma is the standard deviation with respect to the uh, white noise generated in the observation okay now the variation of white noise is given by sigma into sigma of variation the whole square that is sigma square that is expectation of x1 minus mu x1 so x1 is given by root e2 plus w and mu x1 is given by root e2 itself so if since we are having minus so minus root e by 2 so plus root e by 2 minus root e by 2 gets cancelled so we are left with expectation of w itself and we know that expectation of uh, white noise is given by the spectral density that is n not by 2 so that's why we are getting the sigma square as n not by 2 now let's continue with the conditional uh, pdf itself that is a uh, f x one of the observation vector x one is given by one by under root two pi n not by two so whatever the sigma square is get that is getting replaced by n not by two into expectation of minus of x one minus root e by two that is the value of uh, uh, mu whatever we get that is the mean value that we are going to be replacing it by root e by two the whole square divided by two into sigma square that is n not by two so two two gets cancelled here. so this would be 1 by root pi n not into e to the power minus of x1 minus root e by 2 the whole square divided by n not okay 
so this is for x1 and the same thing we are going to we are going to be getting for x2 itself because we are having the mean value as same for both the observation vectors so that's why the same expression with respect to conditional pdf of x, uh, observation vector x2 remains the same okay only the observation vectors are going to be getting replaced the rest all the terms remains the same okay now the probability that x1 greater than 0 is given by p of x1 greater than 0 is equal to integration from 0 to infinity f of x1 of the observation vector x1 into dx1 okay where this is the probability distribution function this function whatever is written so that is given by uh, integration from 0 to infinity 1 by root of pi n naught into e to the power minus of x1 minus root e by 2 the whole square divided by n naught into dx1 so simplify it okay where uh, this is the constant term you take it outside and uh, whatever is mentioned in this bracket that you be you should be solving using the substitution method so simplify that is the further integration part is done here where uh, u, uh, u is taken as u is equal to x1 minus root e by 2 divided by root n naught uh, cross multiply so u into root n naught is equal to x1 minus root e by 2 take the differentiation you will be getting du of n naught is equal to dx1 since this is constant term so this would be 0 so now the limits gets changed when x1 is equal to 0 u would be equal to minus of root e by 2 to n naught and when x1 equal to infinity u also would be equal to infinity so now change that limits now so 1 by root pi n naught into integration of minus of root e by 2 n naught uh, up to infinity e to the power u square du into root n naught so this is a constant you take it outside so that n naught n naught gets cancelled so you would be left with 1 by root pi into integration of minus root e by 2 n naught up to infinity e to the power minus u square du okay so now whatever this term you get that you need to be comparing it with the error function okay so which we have discussed in the previously probability error of bpsk the error function of the random variable x is given by 2 by root pi where x varies from uh, so where the limits are from x to infinity e to the power minus x square dx also one more thing you need to be knowing with respect to qpsk since we are having two variables that is the uh, two observations x1 and x2 so that's why you should be knowing one more expression with respect to the error function generated that is error function of x is equal to 2 minus the original error function of x so that's why we would be getting probability when x1 greater than 0 as 1 by 2 into 2 by pi into integration of minus e by 2 root e by 2 and not up to infinity e to the power minus u square du as this term is replaced by whatever is there in place of x limit here that is minus of root e by 2 and naught so that is written as 1 by 2 into error function of minus root e by 2 and naught so this is given by 2 minus error function of x so that's why 1 by 2 into 2 minus error function of root e by 2 and naught okay so error function of minus x okay so that's why here we are having minus uh, uh, the negative value of random variable so that's why it would be 2 minus the positive value of random variable okay so now p of x1 greater than 0 is equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 so i'm just multiplying 1 by 2 into 2 is 1 and 1 by 2 error function of root e by 2 and naught so now consider the first equation which we have taken that is uh, pc is equal to 1 minus pe if you alterate it we would be getting pe is equal to 1 minus pc okay so name this as equation star now our job is to find the conditional probability that is for the decision for the correct decision pc that is given by 1 minus 1 by 2 into error function of root e by 2 and not the whole square okay why because we are taking whole square because you have got one probability for x1 greater than 0 right so now we should be finding for less than 0 also so that's why you are taking the twice the probability generated of this probability so that's why you should be taking the square of this okay so that's why you would be getting 1 minus 1 by 2 into error function of root e by 2 and not the whole square so this is of the form a minus b the whole square identity so that is given by a square minus 2ab plus b square okay in, for the, in the same thing I have substituted here that is pc is equal to 1 plus 1 by 4 because this square if you take this would be 1 by 4 
error function square of root e by 2 and not minus 2 into 1 by 2 into error function of root e by 2 and not. Okay, so this 2 2 gets cancelled here. 1 plus 1 by 4 into error function of uh, root e by 2 and not square minus error function of root e by 2 and not. Okay, so this is the correct decision probability whatever we get. This you need to be substituting in equation star now. That is p e is equal to 1 minus of 1 plus 1 by 4 into error function of root e by 2 and not the whole square minus error function of root e by 2 and not. So after simplifying this we would be getting the final answer as for a error probability as 1 minus 1 by 4 error function square root e by 2 and not plus error function of root e by 2 and not. Okay if you uh, take the brackets split it and simplify you would be getting this term. Note that square of the error function is nullified. That is here we are having one square term under error function. Okay, so whatever the error function generated, so it says that with respect to one property of error function, that is whatever the air, uh, the square is, if the square is generated with respect to error function, then it is nullified. That is error function square is directly equal to zero. So that's why what we are getting, this complete term would be getting nullified to zero. So we would be getting the answer as error probability P E is equal to error function of root E by 2 and not. Okay, so this is also called as the symbol error rate. Okay, whatever is uh, mentioned in the circle that is called as symbol error rate. Okay, so and this is the total error probability of the QPSK signal generated. Okay, where here the E is given by 2 times EB. Why? Because we are having the value of n is equal to 2, right? So that's why for two different uh, combinations of bits, we would be getting two different energy signals. So that's why E is equal to 2 times EB that is substituted here. That is error function of under root 2 EB by 2 and not 2 2 gets cancelled. So our final error probability would be getting it as PE is equal to error function of root EB by N naught. Okay. So in this way, the error probability of the quadrature phase shift king signal is getting uh, calculated. And uh, this is the complete procedure, step by step procedure I've told you for calculating the error probability of this method. Okay, this is again a very important question guys, you need to be noting it down. So please note it down guys, there are high chances that they might be asking this question as well. Okay, yeah. So that's all for this video guys. In the next video, we are going to be seeing with some more important phase shift keying techniques which are not yet done. That is uh, differential phase shift keying binary frequency shift keying that is BFSK signals using a coherent and non-coherent detection everything we are going to be discussing in the upcoming videos so stay tuned a lot of videos are coming soon for from this module itself then after that we are going to be moving towards module 3 okay yeah so that's all for this video guys thank you